say you want to <coughs> throw another div in here, fill up this page right here, it's blank here. So we're going to copy the same div over again. So inside this content, we're going to give it a, a div ID of right or left. And we're going to put everything we have inside of it. So now all that is inside of left. So we're going to copy that whole block of left and we're just going to rename it to right. And then you can't use the same ID twice. You will get a error. So let's refresh the page and let's validate with their validation toolbar. If you don't have it, it's a web developer toolbar. You can download it and search it for Google. Uh, we're going to validate local CSHTML and we'll have one error. Yes, we do. Uh, it's because we have the same ID twice. We can't have that. So we're going to give this a class. Class gallery. Class gallery. Uh, and in here, uh, classes get a dot so you just change those pound signs to a dot and bingo now we have two divs stacked up on top of each other we do not want that we want to target our left and we want to float it left and then we want to target our right, and we want to float it left. So now we have them stacked up on each other. Uh, whenever you two float two items together like that, you'll have a problem, and it's you can solve it by clear fix. Uh, if you don't know what a clear fix is, just type in. Uh, CSS clear fix so uh, here's one it fixes uh, two items let's see here I'm not gonna use this one but because I already have one somewhere Let's find that guy. Here is my clear fix, and I'll give it to you guys if you want it. I'm going to put my clear fix all the way at the bottom here. So I have a clear fix before. Uh, I just copy and paste this from online. <coughs> all it does is fixes floated elements. I have these two fi uh, floated elements here. They're both div boxes. I'll highlight them so you can tell what is what here. Uh, we'll give it this one blue, our left, and our right. We'll give it a background color, uh, no, not gray, uh, lime. The fuck's lime? Okay. So we have a blue and a green. And our content, which is this little, really light gray bar, it doesn't know the height of these floated elements. It doesn't know the height because every browser will fuck this up. Uh, you need a clear fix to fix it. And that's what this is. So this is a class, clear fix, uh, content, display block. Uh, they just did it in one line of code, but it would really look like what we've been doing. So it would look like this. But I'm just going to do the one line of code because it's simple. And all you have to do to access that is a clear fix. So we're going to put a clear fix on our content. So instead of this uh, ID, we're going to make a class. And we're going to go back in here and give our content of a class. You just need to change that to a period. And with classes, you can use it. You can use this div more than once, and you can also give it more than one class. So we're going to say clear fix, and that should fix our problem.
So yeah, it now recognizes the height and width of these two floated elements. And that is what a clear fix does, which is really important. Because it will definitely give you some headaches. Uh, without that clear fix, you would have to give it a set height, which isn't very dynamic. You would have to change that height all the time, which is a pain in the ass. So I'm going to get rid of these two dumb... Well, we'll give them both the same color, make them cool. So we'll give them 3 through 3. Uh, we'll do a grays. Grays for the win. And then we're going to float... Uh, we could say float right, just to get it away from that left one. And I'll float it right, totally opposite from this one. Or we can give us a margin, some margin left. It's a pretty popular thing to do. Give it 200 pixels margin left. And now it just chills over here. Uh, say we don't want all these texts and shit lining up, like humping the left edge, it looks like shit. So we'll give it uh, some padding in here, uh, five pixels. And five pixels is just like saying five pixels, five pixels, five pixels for left, right, bottom, top. Or you can just say it once and that's what that does. So it's pa padging and margin, margin are just like the same. Pixels. Uh, that helps out a little bit. It's whatever. We could uh, just say five pixels, five pixels, and then on the left, or we could just say zero, 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 and say 15 pixels for the right one. And then that kind of helps it out. Copy and paste that line. Boom. Now they both have that. Um, I don't know what else to add in here. This is a basic site. Um, what else am I forgetting? Uh, we went over backgrounds. Uh, you'd also want to continue commenting on this. So this is a end, right? This is an end left. As you can see, it kind of gets confusing in here. These little block, little snippets here, uh, really help out your code. And let's see if our page validates. Uh, yeah, it does. And we'll validate the CSS. And we got one error. And that's just because of the clear fix. Property zoom doesn't exist. Uh, property zoom doesn't exist in all modern browsers. It only exists in Internet Explorer which is a shitty browser. Uh, it doesn't matter if it doesn't validate, it's still gonna work. So we'll just say screw that. Um, yeah, so that is how you make a basic website.